This Bronx politician is putting on her scrubs and joining the healthcare workers battling the coronavirus pandemic. Joining us now via Skype is New York Assembly member Karinas Reyes. Thank you so much for joining us, first of all, and thanks for doing what you're doing. I understand you. you've already put your scrubs back on and you've been at the hospital this weekend. Can you paint us a picture of the scene? Um, it is something that we haven't ever seen. Uh, I think a lot of us uh, kind of look each other in the face in disbelief. Um, the number of patients that we're seeing, the number of critical patients that we're seeing. I mean, I want to say almost every patient that we have right now currently is COVID positive. And uh, about 80% of those patients are critical. Uh, during a regular shift in the past, we would hear maybe one rapid response, one code blue, one CAC call, two tops. And we're in the double digits now during a 12 hour shift. I want to say 10, 15, 20. Um, we had five intubations on my unit alone uh, this past weekend during one shift. And that's a trend that we're seeing on every unit in every hospital in the city. So what people probably, some people don't know about you is that you were a full-time nurse before you were elected. So tell us yes. about why you wanted to put your scrubs back on to get into this situation. It's the only way that I can help directly. Um, us legislators, we are um, kind of put on pause as well. We passed the budget last week, um, but many of us, are, our offices are working remotely and um, I have a set of skills that are required and needed right now. And it would be selfish of me to just stay home and not answer that call. I have to ask you, we know that so many healthcare workers are putting their life on the line. So many of them are getting sick themselves. So many are dying. So many separated from their families for more than a month now and can't see them. When you told your family that you were going back to serve as a nurse, what did they say to you? They told me I was crazy um, because I don't have to. Uh, I no longer have to do that, but uh, nursing has always been my passion. And I've always worked in my community, and I think if I really want to serve my community, this is the best way for me to do it at this at this time. Are you worried about getting sick? Of course. I think we're all worried about getting sick, and we take all the necessary precautions uh, that we can. Unfortunately, sometimes uh, there, there are lapses in those protocols. Uh, one, because we very early on, we lack PPE. I want to say this week was actually better in the hospital in terms of personal protective equipment than it was previous week. Um, but the, the, the state of emergency that's in the hospital right now, oftentimes because you're running around, uh, patients are crashing all the time that um, sometimes you, you forget to protect yourself the best way you can. But we are making sure that we remind each other on the floor, uh, the nurses in particular, to making sure that we take care of each other. Can you paint us a picture of the PPE and the gowns and the masks that you have available to you, how much are available to you and how often do you have to reuse them? So um, this week we were given one N95 mask at the beginning of our shift um, and management was really great because they, they set themselves up at the entrance of the hospital and gave everybody one. Um, but that mask is supposed to last us the whole shift um, and we get a face shield as well and that's supposed to last us the whole week and we're expected to disinfect it between patients. Um, the gowns this week, I want to say we had we had a good amount and I was able to use a gown every time I was going into a patient room, a new gown. Uh, the previous week, we didn't have that luxury. We have to wrap up with you, but just really quick, if you can just send your message to the public, what do you want the people now to know as an assembly woman, as a healthcare worker now? I think we're all doing our part um, my part right now is to put on my scrubs and show up to work. Um, and I want people to know that they should be staying home and really helping us flatten this curve um, and making sure that we're keeping the most vulnerable in our community safe. All right, Assemblymember Reyes, thank you so much for joining us this morning and thank you for your thank contribution. You.